Go to chapel on it. Just not one time we got up here and preached on anybody. You can't accuse us of getting used to the pulpit because across America, folks get up on Sunday and put you on full blast. You'd be like, what the world? I just told them last night. And now all of a sudden they teaching on me, preaching on me. It hasn't happened before. I've been in church. Yeah. Yeah. Incident, break, break yeah. off, then all of a sudden the next Sunday message became a hot yeah. press. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And all you can sit back there and sweat yeah. with drawers. Yeah. I'm hoping nobody knew it was you. Like, <laughs> but then you give it away. Yeah. <laughs> you sit on that sweat yeah. every day. What's wrong with Sister Sarah? So she's sweating? That must be her. <laughs> but it's the truth. We want to be private. You have to be yeah. selective. <laughs> You have to choose right. use discretion yes. on who to give yeah. your garbage to. That's right. Yeah. That's true. I'm not saying being silly. Yeah. Exactly. There are people around you that cannot handle that type of information. That's right. That's right. Yep. I got some friends that I I got ministry friends. That I don't tell them everything. Right. Some of them right. I just say, Hey, what's going on, dog? You see the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's cool, and yeah. I enjoy that. That's a yes. great event. Oh yeah. But then you got the ones that you can, you know, like Apostle Tim. I used to just. Lay on out there. Mm -hmm. Pops, here you go, bam! Mm -hmm. And then I knew he wouldn't judge me. Yes. Amen. And, 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 see, the, and the, the way you can tell is how they treat you after you give it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's the, that's the test. Yes. Uh, if they start being aloof and disconnected mm -hmm. and, and then walking by you or, yeah. or let, let the call ID answer for them, <laughs> I get back with you. Yeah, but a lot of people don't want that. You know, they don't want that. They don't want, you know, people that should know what's going on in their lives, you know, because they don't want that right judgment. They don't want you to go. make wrong there you go. what's right. There you and go. that's what judging is. That's right. You know, trying to bring you to a better place, make right what's wrong with you've been doing right. for so long. The pattern of the way, you know, you thought about something for that existed for such, for, you know, a long time. Exactly. So they, they don't want change and they don't want, you know, and that's that's actually what, what it's supposed to be anyway. They ain't supposed to just like down you and belittle you and judge you like you're nothing in the earth. But it's supposed to say, look, wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, you know, let me talk to you. Mm -hmm. Let me, you know, show you some things. Show you that that's not right. Let's correct some of those ways that you, you know, you thought or you're thinking or you're doing things, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, that's, we all need that. We need somebody to buffet those areas, yeah. to challenge us and just don't leave us to ourselves. Well, I mean, we know God do it, but come on, be real. Yeah. You're not going to sit there and listen to God all day, neither. Uh -huh. God sent a man, sent a woman in your life to say, look, sister, look, brother, look. Look, yeah. my friend, yeah. he sent friends. Friends yeah. are all in the Bible. He sent friends yeah. to confront those areas and not let you walk idly around blindly, just, you know, dismissing that it's okay. I ain't sharp as I am. Yes. You so start. we all need See, somebody. That's, that's the thing. Without Even if you're going to create a spark, if you don't have a match, you want to make a spark, you got to rub some hard surface yeah. together to get that spark. Yes. And sometimes yeah. God will do that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you know, and a lot of times he'll take, he'll do certain things like that for we can, so he can expose the areas in our life. Amen. Yes. We don't Amen. think, say, man, dang, is that still there? No, <laughs> no we still, we rather say, oh, it was them. This is the fifth different person. Yeah. <laughs> in ten years, you gonna try to say it's them. Yeah. But instead of looking inside, say, dang, is this still there? Amen. I need to attack that area. Yeah. I need to address that area. Right. And I told you before, if it doesn't represent Christ, that's the enemy. Yeah. I don't care how you. Yeah. You, look, you tell you some issues you can't domesticate. Right. Wow, come on. Huh? You no. can't go out to the uh, <laughs> you can't go out to the uh, forest reserve and get a get a lion and, and put him in your house and try to domesticate. Try to, domesticate. Try to tame it. Right. Right. And then you wonder why it rose up and started chewing you up. Yeah. And that's some of our issues. We don't understand. I saw a real move, a real uh, thing on that on TV with that. And I'm thinking, are you real? He had a whole caboose of animals, wild right. animals. And then in the end, what happened? The animal ate him up. Because yeah. you can't domesticate it. Probably for a moment or whatever, for whatever reason, they have to be attacked. Yeah, right. You know right. Say, right. And then it start growing. Oh, yeah, it's, it's got to grow. Picking on this tree. Oh, yeah, whatever you, you know, entertain like that or whatever, it's going to grow. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing we forget. Start out in the baby stage and you're fine with it. You're stroking it and rubbing it, but when it starts growling, yeah. you can't handle it then. Yeah. And so, but like you mentioned, I like what you mentioned about, you know, a lot of us like to have that a, a long ranger mentality where we want to be alone and a lot of things and then you say well you know if I need uh, correction or whatever let God do it let God do it last because <laughs> you know you ain't gonna let God you ain't gonna hear God for nothing <laughs> hey 
don't think I do it. That's the reason why they see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just to get you off their back. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, we, 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 have to, we have to understand that. That God wants to remove those things in us that's yeah. disrupting covenant. Mm -hmm. It's all about covenant. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's mm -hmm. all about covenant. Amen. If you join a church, don't just settle for membership. Amen. Right. Get, mm -hmm. Quickly adapt yourself for relationship. Yes, Lord. Yes. I mean, it's sad when you've been in the church uh, three years and only have one friend. Yeah. Right. Right. Wow. Yeah. Amen. Oh. It, it's sad. It really is. I, I don't. I, I don't understand. Yes. When I was at AFC, man, I had friends off the hinges. Mm -hmm. You know, even when I got ordained, I ain't lose the friends. <laughs> well, some of us, some of people, some of the people get ordained and then they had to get a new group of friends. <laughs> Y'all ain't ordained, right? Give me a new selection. Next, wow. no. <laughs> ain't nothing but a big old Leviathan hanging out in there. Yes. Wow. You know, and that, and I can tell you where you're headed by your friends. You want to know your future? Check out your friends. Amen. Amen. That's true too. Yeah. So you should have a, a apothecary. You should have a, a variety of friends. Amen. Yes. You should you should have friends that know you when you were nothing. Yeah. You should have yeah. friends that know you when you are something. Yeah. You should have friends more than so yeah. those that are taking you somewhere. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it first starts out, and it should have an ultimate. Uh, apex in the church. We got to make sure. Say, man, I got to show myself friendly. I don't have friends in church because you ain't friendly. The mm -hmm. soon as service is over, you're out the door. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you, <laughs> you know, as soon as service is over, you got the Bible in your hand, your coat yeah. on, <laughs> and you like this in the block, starting block. And then, Lord, forgive, forbid somebody to say, uh, sister, brother, so and so, and you're yeah, like, stop you on the way out the door. Stop you in your tracks. I've done that before. I had to, you know, talk with briefly and somebody, like and I'm trying to scan the room, try to find them, and say, we're here real quick before they get off the door because I knew that they normally run up out of here. And so I'm trying to scan real quick. Somebody else is trying to talk to me, and I'm kind of like, you know, distracted. Like, I'm trying to find that person because I already know that they're headed for the door. That's a true story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's happened a few times. Yes. You do yeah. it on purpose. I say, what's well, so-and-so? They go. I'm like, yeah. dang, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Over for I have to ask or ask Vanessa or whatever. I'm where's so-and-so? I'm looking for so-and-so. Yeah. I think they're gone, prophet. I'm like, it's all going in. I got to try to get them next time. Then next time, same thing. I'm like. <laughs> Let me say this. I, don't, I know some of us want to have some great things to transpire. We we need to, how many know we need the presence and power of God? Amen. 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 And how I many know he does it in, 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 in not only on an individual basis, but he does it in a group. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. But we have to understand that how we relate to each other mm -hmm. is going to determine the manifestation of that power. Come on, Amen. That's true. Yeah. You think it's going to come through your fasting? You think it's going to come through your praying? Mm -hmm. You think it's going to come through your church attendance? You think it's going to come through your tithe? Jesus dealt with him in Matthew 23. He said, you do all these things, but you're going to do faith and justice and, and love yes. and mercy. Yes. You're doing all that other stuff mm -hmm. because you want to be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you start ministering to the body, yeah. I'm telling you, God shows up. Mm -hmm. Jesus moved in manifestation and great glory because yeah. he had compassion come on. on the people. Yeah. Yes. If you start taking a little bit of sprinkling a little compassion with your little apothecary you know put together all your yes. all the things I just said uh -huh. and put some compassion in there watch and see what God will do yes. in fact yes. I, I believe God will move more clear more stronger yes. with yes. great velocity when we start operating in compassion yes. and you start looking at some of your